In this video, I'm going to show how power flows from the positive side of the battery in the Rolly 35T and how it makes its way through the circuitry. Uh, what I thought was odd, what caught my attention was when you, here's the battery right here, of course there's the plus, and, and of course here's the familiar cap that goes on top of the battery, okay, and then you screw it in. And originally I thought it, it's somehow screwed in over here and the associated circuitry is nearby, but that's not what happens. It goes a very long way to get there. Well, very long in camera terms. So it starts here, goes here. You screw in the cap, but the cap actually screws in to the camera body right there. So the positive becomes you have a negative ground, a positive ground, I should say, okay? And now you make your way to this particular screw hole right here, which happens to be right with, where this goes, the top of the dial indicator. You see how there's no paint on it? And that's how they made it, and when you put this screw in, it grounds it right there. Okay, so why go through all that trouble? Right, well, the, they have their own reasons, but this is what it is. So here's the uh, actual uh, system itself. So this gets grounded here. Now, I forgot which of these screws, one of those goes here. So. Now, yeah, now the positive becomes this the frame of the, the whole assembly here. And let's see, so now on the back, this is the bottom basically, the red wire, which of course goes back over here, I won't get into exactly where it goes, but you, you'll know where it goes, is soldered directly to the frame. So you go from battery to camera, that screw hole to here and the red goes out but what it also does is how does that affect the meter doesn't the meter need power also it does and how it gets it is let's see let me go back on the bottom over here here's the bottom well it just goes to the frame and let me go back on the front. Okay, this is what I was thinking of. It goes to this whole assembly. Let me zoom in a little bit. Right here. So you get right over here, and then from here it makes, makes its way. It's hard to focus on it, but it does. Makes its way onto that hair spring that you see right there. And that's, let's see if I, I want to have it moving carefully, there we go. That particular hairspring. And that's part of the, that goes to the moving coil. And you can see there's a solder connection right there and then it's, it can't really make it out here, but it does make its way to the moving coil, which has like, uh, God knows how many thousands of turns on it and it, it does its thing. Now, let me get back to the bottom again. And on the bottom side, this is a little bit different how this is arranged. Uh, let's see if I can focus on this a little bit better. This, at first it gives the appearance that the blue wire and the red wire are soldered to the same thing, they're not. This metal ends right here. This part is actually this is metal, but it's this is what you're looking at right, let's see, right there. That's clear plastic all the way around here. So I had to look at it twice with the loop, but that's what it is. So this is sitting on clear plastic. It's isolated from this. Otherwise, it would be kind of pointless, wouldn't it, if they were both connected? So that's, it's, it's even hard to see by eye, but this is clear plastic. But this is metal sitting on the plastic. This is soldered over here. And 
over here. It's again, it's hard to make out. But what it does is a little connection right there. It does make its way down to the other hairspring. There's another hairspring in there. You can barely make it out. There it is. Let's see, you can just about see it there. I don't want to touch it too much. Oops, magnetism. And uh, let's see, if I move this, you might be able to see it there. Now you can see it a little bit. And now you, you could also see the many thousand turns of the galvanometer itself. So you have current flowing on from that side, it goes all the way through the coil thousands of times, and it makes its way out through the blue wire. So that's how, that's how this works. It's kind of interesting, actually.